shot. There's one thing in this world that frightens me more than anything else I've ever encountered. Ever since I was a child, and well past then, actually until now, what's frightened me most was, is E.T. E.T. Sneaking around in woods, lurching around in cornfields, not doing anything but waiting to be found. You know, I'll be having a nice pleasant dream, sleeping in my bed, in my comfortable bed, having a nice pleasant dream, all bright and sunny, sunshine and stars and rainbows, and out of nowhere, in the corner of a room, a bright ass room, there'd be a shadow. And in that shadow would be E.T. And everything would freeze. E.T. would come out, I couldn't run, and he would lurch, and he would strangle me. I don't know why Steven Spielberg thought it was so necessary to create a brown leathery alien who got separated from the other aliens on planet Earth and all he wanted to do was go home. But I don't think that was actually what the plan was. I think that the aliens wanted an infiltrator. Someone to gather information from the child Elliot and his family. And I believe that once E.T. found out that information that he would have killed Elliot and his brother and his sister and his mom. You know, aliens don't go around lurching around not expecting to be found in the middle of nowhere in California. He knew he was going to be found. Aliens knew he was going to be found. And, um, just not a good scenario. I would have killed it. I would have incinerated it. I would have called the police, called the SWAT team, called the Navy SEALs, because there is no way in hell, as a child, I would be ready to accept that risk. You know, E.T. took advantage of the most vulnerable part of a whole family, befriended, and was potentially gonna betray Elliot. Usually in nature, when things look scary, that's what they are. They're dangerous. They're scary. And E.T. is, an ex is no exception. He is, a, he is a foul, brown, leathery creature who excretes different kinds of gases and fluids. And I'm glad that the scientists found it and quarantined it and almost killed it. I remember as a child living on Cedar Street in downtown Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin when every night I would have a dream where I'd be in my brother Andy's room playing video games Aladdin for their Super Nintendo and with my back against the closet where I didn't know E.T. was and sometime during my gameplay E.T. would come out and he would start strangling me he would start strangling me from behind and every time he did that I'd turn around and I'd break one of his fingers now after I broke one of his fingers, he would return to his closet and the dream would end. The next night, the same thing would happen, but the finger that I broke the previous night was still broken and all I had to do was break another one. And I remember, after having broken all ten of his fingers, after a week and a half of these nightmares where I'm playing video games minding my own business in my brother's room and out comes the closet a brown leathery skinned alien who comes up behind me and strangles me after a week and a half of having to go through all this torment I finally broke all his fingers and I thought it would be over 
but on the 11th night, he came out and all his fingers were intact. And I didn't see him coming. I was playing my video game and I thought it was all over with and he came up behind me and he killed me by strangulation. Now, what is so damn cute about an alien who infects other people's dreams and the only way you can get rid of him is by breaking one of his fingers and no matter how many fingers you break by the end of it he kills you and that's not the only thing he does he makes you go through the same thing that he goes through remember when Elliot was dying Elliot was dying and then E.T. was dying and then the flowers were dying I mean there's just no good in that you know how could parents let their little kids watch a movie about a brown leathery skinned alien lurching through cornfields excreting unearthly gases and fluids onto our planet and manipulating children <laughs>